you can work with your paper either this way or, or this way, whatever you want. So first of all, I'm going to draw a horizontal line. It doesn't really matter where you want. You can center it if you want. Your ruler. And then I'm going to draw my perspective dot. And it can be anywhere on your horizontal line. It could be over here or over there, but I'm choosing that. And it's going to be right there. Okay, so I'm going to do a bunch of different shapes. So now that I have this part done, I am going to draw a bunch of shapes. They can be anything. shapes. If you don't feel comfortable drawing freehand, you can use those. You trace around. Oops. Stars can be kind of tricky drawing, so if you have something you want to trace, you can do that. Some odd shapes. start with your conversion uh, lines so that means you're gonna line your, take your ruler line it up to your dot and then to the corner of your shape you are going to draw a line Circles and hearts are a little different. So what you're going to do, you're going to line that up to the side here. And draw your line. Again, if you want, draw it like in the center. You can draw one on your points. I didn't do one here because it's pretty much lined up already and it's going to be covered. Here, and this is the heart. I'm going to line it up to the side like I did the circle. And you don't have to draw when you're drawing your conversion lines. They don't have. To, they can be pretty light because we are. We can go. You can go back and erase those. Okay, so now I'm 
going to color the shape. And I'm using colored pencil, but you can use a um, marker if you'd like. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to color my conversion areas. And one thing, as I'm coloring down towards my point, I'm going to color lighter and lighter. I start out darker, the closer it is, and then eventually just color lighter and lighter, because that's going to give us some depth. Imagine maybe light heating on this side. 